Okay, guys. In honor of Ben Roethlisberger's last game at Heinz Field as a Pittsburgh Steeler, we are going to look at his top 10 plays of his career. I don't necessarily agree with the person who made this video. Some of them aren't that great of plays, and he's got a lot of plays that are better than these ones. But nevertheless, this is what I could find on YouTube. Uh, you would think it'd be a little easier to find top 10 plays of Ben Roethlisberger. He's been in the league, what, 16, 17 years? Drafted 2004, I believe, number 11, number 11 pick, something like that. But uh, nevertheless, guys, tonight is going to be filled with a few sad tears, a few happy tears, just remembering Ben Roethlisberger, whether you like him or you hate him. He's a great quarterback, no matter what anyone says. So let's jump into this video, guys. <laughs> Big Ben. Number 10. Let's see. And in the shotgun is back. The man breaks through. He ducks it. Now he runs forward. Scampers left. Looking for the end zone. And we got a touchdown. You can't argue that this guy knew how to avoid sacks. He's fat. He's slow. But it's hard to take him down. Here he goes again. That was a nice throw. Dang. Okay. Number eight. Dallas. Pump fake. Pump fake. Evade. Pump fake. Look at that. He's got all kinds of time there. Heath Miller. I miss him too. Good tight end. Seven. Let's go. Uh, Baltimore. Look at this. Okay, that this is stupid. That's not a top play, but whatever. I can do that. Six. Carolina. That's a throw. That's a big throw. Wow. All right. So, while we're here, let's talk about the reason I like the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it's actually a really funny story. People are like, Dean, you were born in New York. You should like the Giants or the Jets or the Bills. And then they're like, oh, well, you lived in Virginia your, your whole life. You should like the Washington football team. But the funny thing is, I actually like the Steelers because in fifth grade, there was this girl had a big crush on her, and she cheerleaded in the Pee Wee League, and the team that she cheerleaded for was the Steelers, so that was her favorite team. So the only reason I started liking the Steelers was because of this cute girl in fifth grade. I said, I like the Steelers too. Did not like the Steelers at all, but since fifth grade, I started watching them just so I could talk to her in class about the Steelers. And she had no idea. She, she had nothing, no idea about football whatsoever. But, you know, thank you to that fifth grade girl that I had a crush on because the Steelers have stuck with me ever since, and I rarely miss a game unless I'm working or really busy. So, with that being said, guys, number five. Let's check it out. The Browns hate them too. Also, what do you guys think about Antonio Brown, what he did the other day where he just took off all his clothes in the middle of the game, was fined like a million something dollars? Guy's an idiot. I don't know how we dealt with him or how Coach Tomlin dealt with him for that long. Great player. Possibly top three best of all time if he played consistently, as in not getting in trouble, not going to jail, not getting arrested, not being an idiot. Uh, the guy, it's such, it's so sad when someone has that much talent and they just waste it by being an idiot. Great player. Number four. Oh, this one right here. I was actually in the middle of a flag football game in college, and all my friends were like, "Did you see what just happened? Did you see what just happened?" But I was playing football, and then I went back and watched this. I think they lost this game, but still, this play's insane. Fake spike, touchdown. 
That's awesome. Gutsy call. And still, they were he was get, getting guarded too, so that was a beautiful throw, great catch. Number three. Green Bay. Lost to them in the Super Bowl. Beautiful. What do you guys think? Aaron Rodgers might be out of Green Bay by the end of this year. Rumors say that he could go to Pittsburgh. I would love that. With Ben being gone, I do not think that Mason Rudolph is the answer. I don't think that any of our I don't think Dwayne Haskins is the answer either. I don't know if we would draft a quarterback, but I would love to get Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers at the top of my list, you know, get a jersey of A Rodge. We're gonna see what happens. But one game at a time, we still have Ben for right now. And I'd love to make the playoffs. I just I don't see it happening, guys. Man, this is sad. I'm going to miss Ben. Oh, this play right here, I was watching live. I believe this is the playoffs or a game that we needed to win. I think it's the playoffs, though. I'm pretty sure. I was watching this, and I was still decently young, and I was going crazy because if Ben did not make this play, there's a good chance we lost. And we, I think we went to the Super Bowl that year. I think we won this year. I think we did. Fumble. Watch this. Big ol' fat Ben makes the tackle to save the game. Because he was gone. And that would have deflated the whole game. Number one. I think this is the Super Bowl versus the Cardinals. I think this is the Super Bowl. Beautiful throw right here. That was beautiful. Dang. Well, like I said, guys, I, I don't necessarily agree. I'm gonna pause this. I don't necessarily agree with that top ten. I just literally could not find any more videos of top tens from Ben Roethlisberger. But guys, it's been a great, however many years we've had him, fifteen or sixteen. Great quarterback. Easily gonna be in the Hall of Fame. I believe two Super Bowls. Seahawks and Cardinals, and then we played against the Packers, and then we lost to them, but maybe there's, I think it's only two Super Bowls that we won with Ben, but anyways, guys, great quarterback, great player, gonna shed a tear or two tonight with his last game, but to all my Steelers fans, hopefully we get another quarterback just as good as Ben that we can keep for that long, uh, you don't really see that these days, someone dedicated that much to a team. I was surprised to see him come back this year. I thought last year was the last ride, but uh, we had that bad end of the season, losing to the Browns in the playoffs, going 13-3 and last year and this year, you know. It's been a roller coaster, too. Coming out hot while beating the Bills our first game, and then, you know, just having some tough losses, but some great wins, too. Should have had that win against the Vikings. That was tough. It was The ball was right in... Muth's hands and he drops it but anyways guys thank you for watching uh if you're not a Steelers fan at least enjoy this and respect Ben's love for the game and just his just respect him for what he's done as a football player and uh Big Ben it's been real if you ever see this video which you never will but we love you Big Ben and we're gonna miss you man peace out guys